Hey, what is up guys? The new 3D Mark Time Spy Direct X12 benchmark is here, and I wanted to share some of my early numbers and thoughts on what this new benchmark includes and what it can tell us about our systems and how well they're being used in this test for Microsoft's next generation API. Now, you may have seen in the beginning of the video, I had my CPU all the way up to five gigahertz to try and get a max score for you guys. And although I was able to get into the benchmark at that speed, I have yet to actually successfully complete a run at five gigahertz on the CPU. And that's a shame too, because apparently a little extra clock speed on your CPU is something this new test likes very, very much. You can see from my overclock at 4.7 gigahertz on the CPU to my slightly more aggressive 4.9, the CPU score goes up by almost 700 points. That's only around a 4% boost to clock speed and a gain of about 14%. So either the new test really likes extra clock speed or something is off, but keep in mind, these are both validated scores Moving over to the GPU, I nudged things up only a meager amount from the 1480 and 8036 GPU and memory to a closer to the ceiling 1512 and 8072. This nets me another almost 200 points, which again is a massive boost to the GPU score on this benchmark, considering the relatively small boost to my clocks. Here you can see that my frame rates were for the most part very good, staying over 30 during graphic sequences and above 20 on the purely CPU driven test as well. Also included in this new benchmark, a section of visible graphs that allow you to see everything from GPU temperature to CPU temperature, GPU utilization, etc., which is super handy if you don't already have something like MSI's Afterburner running or you simply want to see a record of frame rates and other information right there in the program. At this point, it looks like utilization is pretty good, aside from some lower than expected utilization of the CPU, which again, doesn't seem to max that out at all. Just seems very interesting to me on an API designed to do just that across multiple cores. Uh, but we'll see how that plays out in the future. But for the time being, GPU seems to be maxed out and CPU seems to be underutilized for the most part. I'll be interested to see how these numbers stack up to all the new big dogs on the block in terms of hardware, with Intel's latest crazy multi-core CPUs, and the of course big boy GPUs on the block, just how they act with these newer APIs. But in the meantime, I'm feeling pretty good about this number. If you guys have any scores that you want to share below, I'd love to hear about them. More news coming at you guys tomorrow evening, and there is lots to discuss, so get ready. But until then, peace out and happy benchmarking. See ya.